I was stuck for 20 years at the same level, but then I found something that really helped me improve, and I've been improving ever since. I'm gonna share it with you today. It happened to me over and over. Each year I would say, this is finally the year I'm gonna break through and get better. Each year I had good intentions. I tried, but I just couldn't seem to follow through. I'd practice scales, I'd learn a few songs, I'd learn some licks, but I just couldn't really get any better. And each year I ended up studying jazz. And with all due respect to jazz musicians and jazz aficionados, I just didn't really like jazz all that much, so I'd stall. Then one day I was playing acoustic with a new guitar buddy, friend of mine. Anyway, after an hour or so of playing, we were in the kitchen shooting the breeze and our topic of favorite guitar players came up. Now, inevitably, when we're talking about favorite guitar players, for me, Larry Carlton comes up because he's one of my favorites. And my buddy instantly said, oh, Mr. Triad, huh? Now, we went on to other conversations, but that really stuck in my mind. So when I got home, I Googled it and nothing obvious came up but I did see an interview with Larry Carlton where he said that triads were the first things that made sense to him on the guitar. So I was resolved. If Larry Carlton said study triads, I was going to study triads. But where to start? Well, the first thing I found was a David Becker book. Now, he's a great player, but again, it's jazz. It was a bit beyond me, and I kind of lost interest, and so I stopped. And then, sometime about a year later, I was sitting in my living room, guitar in hand, listening to a DVD from Robin Ford called The Art of Blues Guitar Rhythm. And I was listening to it, and I couldn't believe it. They were playing over a G7 vamp, and he started playing these triads, and it just sounded so cool and easy. Something like this. Now this is something I could really sink my teeth into, a blues rock pop sound that I really wanted to play. But besides that, Robin also did me another favor. He simplified things immensely. How? Let me show you. He only used major triads and he only used them on the D, G, and B strings. So there's only three shapes to learn for any given chord. For example, here's G. So that was fun and it was easy because I actually knew all those shapes already, but it wasn't really enough for a breakthrough. But then I did something that I thought was pretty ordinary. I'd done it dozens of times before and yet the heavens were about to open up. I decided to learn the harmonized major scale starting from each of those shapes. For example, when I started with this shape, I got... So far, this was nothing new to me, but then I went on to the next shape. Starting from this G shape, we get... Again, nothing really new, but then I did the third shape. So, starting with this G shape, we get... But that's when I did a double take. This shape right here for the two chord, the A minor. It's totally simple, but I had just never used it. And that's exactly when it happened. That aha moment that Larry Carlton described. I didn't just see an A minor triad. Besides the A minor triad, I also saw an F major seven chord and instantly realized an F major seven is just an A minor triad with an F in the bass. Now this is nothing at all earth shattering, but to me it made a huge difference because not only was I learning something immediately useful, I was seeing connections that I hadn't seen before. But absolutely, the biggest payoff for me was that it began a trend of improvement that I hadn't experienced for 20 years and it continues to this day because those simple triads were just a start. If you want to get started with triads the easy way, you can download my simple free map of all the major and minor triads in all the different keys. It's in a link in the description of the video and in the comments as well. Why not give it a shot? It's totally free.